Sup guys, it's Alex. I usually don't make these type of videos. I want to do story times on my uh, YouTube channel. I'm going to tell you guys my experience of being on YouTube for eight years. Technically ten, but I'm going to count it as eight. So it first started out as like, I, I had found this website, YouTube, and I was like, alright, this is pretty chill, you know, this is where everybody uploads their videos. Okay, so I decided to upload a lip syncing video. Me <sighs> lip syncing, like, the, uh, Cal's mom is a big fat bitch from South Park, and I was eight years old. I don't know why I was allowed to watch that show, but I was. And, uh, it, it was from the movie, too. I really, uh... I don't know, it didn't really go anywhere. I never really checked on the video after that. I was like, okay, whatever. I'm eight years old. I uploaded a video. I wanted to do that. All right, yay. Eventually, uh, I took it down when I was 10. I'm pretty sure, yeah. No, nine. Technically, I started out when I was 10, maybe 11. I know it was sixth grade. Uh, I used to hang out with three people on my block. And me and these guys, we would do some stupid shit. We would eat peppers. Uh, we, I used to have a little pepper tree outside my backyard, and we always used to eat the peppers. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought, oh hey, a lot, I, a lot of people are doing this on YouTube, so I, I think I want to try it. So I would upload that to YouTube. I used to do skating videos. Sometimes I would actually film my friend just farting a bunch of times because he always farted. I don't know why, but he always, he always farted, and it was really weird. After a little while, I stopped making YouTube videos, you know, I was focusing on school or whatever. I was in middle school. No, I was still in sixth grade. I was making, oh, I was making Roblox videos, actually. <laughs> and after uh, a few years with the same channel, I checked on that Roblox video, and it got like a bunch of, sh a shit ton of views because the, the title of the Roblox video was How to Get a Roblox Girlfriend. And I don't even know why I made that video. I don't know, but I just outed myself. It's exposed. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh shit, my chair almost fell back. After a little while, I started making Minecraft videos and that was like the prime of like my YouTube starting. Like me actually wanting to start doing YouTube and doing like the actual thing, right? I started making Minecraft videos uh, using this thing, using this software called EasyVid. Worst software ever. I do not recommend. I was using a shitty laptop as well at the time. So FPS rendering was terrible. My audio was terrible. Basically, what happened was all of those Minecraft videos got taken down because I'd gone to a little trouble at school and my, uh, my dad, you know, he's a, he's a good dad, all right? He's a good dad. Honestly, with the shit that's going on now with like all these, um, with all these kids making YouTube channels and all these pedophiles doing timestamps, I can respect the decision that he made by um, deleting my old YouTube channel. I only had like 25 subs, guys. It really wasn't, it really wasn't anything. But at the time, I was a spoiled little fucking brat because, you know, I'm Alex. So I made another YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, not even two weeks later, March 13th of 2014, uh, I was I was already in eighth grade. Started making Minecraft videos again. Literally, the first video I made was a, was a Minecraft video explaining the new channel and everything. I can even like. I, I can I can show it right now if I wanted to because literally that's this channel today. Hey everybody of YouTube, it is me, Boy Ghost 999. Here with you. The Minecraft channel got to at least 100 subscribers, and I was like, holy shit, 100 subscribers, ah! You know, I was excited. It was my first 100 subscribers. I was like, whoa, what the f I got bored of it, and I got bored of doing Minecraft videos, but I never wanted to do a face reveal on my channel. After I stopped doing Minecraft videos, which was in freshman year, actually, of high school. Late freshman year of high school, I stopped doing Minecraft videos because I got so bored with Minecraft, I was moving on to stuff with League of Legends and shit like that. And I was like, all right, let's get into gaming, bro. I would actually upload some trip vlogs that I used to go on without my face in it because I didn't want anybody to see my face. I wanted to keep that mystery. I don't know why, but like, you know, just like as every other Minecraft YouTuber did it, we wanted to keep our face a secret. Because, you know, it's the mystery. It's the mystery, and we like the mystery. So here's where things come into play. Sophomore year of high school. 2016, actually. I wanted to do an experiment. I made a channel with my face in it. Do some shit, do some <laughs> vlogs and whatever. Alright, so the first video I ever made on that channel was like a, a cover 
of Hey There Delilah. Yeah, yeah, that was it was a guitar cover of Hey There Delilah. I forgot how to play that song now. Summer of 2016 rolls up is what's happening now. Oh, f okay, here we go. I decided to try to do vlogs. I made this thing called Summer Season 1. I literally vlogged every single day of that summer. 78 days. 78 days. I'm pretty sure it was that first summer. I was just new to vlogging. I would literally upload 40 there were there were some days where I would upload 46 second vlogs because there was nothing I could do. There was nothing I could upload. I didn't have that mental like that that thought process that I have now where I can just go out and do something and then I vlog the funny moments and put it into a video and you know make the best out of it. No, I, I was literally desperate for footage. There would be some days where I couldn't hang out with friends and I'd just stay home and I'd be like, oh, it's storming. Hi guys, it's Alex, it's storming. What's up, what's up, what's up? And it was, it sucked. One summer ended, I, started, I stopped vlogging. One thing I wanna say, every summer I vlog the cruise and I love, I would always watch back over those vlogs and I wish I still could now, but I can't. I still have videos and memories though of every cruise I've went on, so thank God. Um, but. I don't have those videos anymore, and I'll explain why. After that summer, I I was just so depressed that summer. I'm thinking about making a uh, like a, a story time about my experience with depression and anxiety and how I can help you guys with it, but that'll be in a different video. I didn't see myself as the person that I wanted to be, the person who I always saw in the camera that summer. When I looked at myself in the camera, it hurt. Like, I don't know why, but it hurt me in here, like in here, and up here. Like, it always just hurt me to look at myself because I, I didn't feel attractive. And it was one of those high school things where it's like, oh, I care about my body weight. I actually have a, a, a picture right here. This is what I looked like back in sophomore year. And, <laughs> but I would always be just depressed about my weight for, Two months, I'm pretty sure, after that summer ended, and I just kept looking back on my videos. I mean, even my friends would look back on my videos, and I'd be like, guys, please don't watch my videos. Also, here's something that you guys need to know about when you make a video. If you guys ever want to just make a video, want to be a creator in the future, I'm, I'm letting you guys know this right now, don't, don't make a video that you don't want your friends seeing in front of you. Because I would make videos that I didn't want my friends seeing in front of me. Like, I'd want them to watch it, sure, but I don't want them to watch it in front of me and cringe and laugh at me. These, that's not the type of videos I should be making, obviously, if I am not comfortable with having people watch my videos right in front of me. That is not something I should be comfortable with. I was depressed about my weight, my, my body and everything, how I looked on camera. At the time, my favorite YouTuber was actually FoosyTube. He, he uploaded this thing called this 90 day journey, and I was like, holy shit. This guy got ripped, he's happy, he fought his depression, and you know, it was great. And that's that's how I saw it. That That's how I saw him. He was a very inspirational person to me. I found that, that the only way that I could ever have motivation to do anything is to make a YouTube video out of it. So every single day for 90 days, I would make a video. And it would be of me and a, literally my day. It would be a vlog every single day. At one point of the video, there would be a scene of me going to the gym. I would go to the gym every single day, work my ass off. I was taking creatine. I was, I was on my game. I was just working out every single day for 90 days. I went from being 189 pounds to 159. Dude, my, my house party videos, those were my favorite. Those were, those were always my favorite videos. Like next to the cruise videos, my house party videos, always my favorite. I threw Halloween parties, I threw birthday parties. Uh, I'm pretty sure I threw uh, a new, uh, yeah, I threw two New Year's parties uh, and a 4th of July party too. That was, that was a great video. I don't have any of those videos anymore. During season two of summer, I was doing reaction videos to McJuggernuggets and one of, and two of those reaction videos got really famous. And I made $200 off of that, actually, surprisingly. I had gained 1,000 subscribers. Then during the winter, I came up with this thing called uh, Winter Vlogs. It was a whole series, it was a great series, you know, I had all my friends in it. It was nice. Uh, 
and I even recorded Christmas with my friend Connor too, because he was the only person I could see for Christmas. I was trying to record every single day of winter break. I loved every single moment of it. January comes, and that's when Visor Gang became a thing. Visor Gang has grown a lot. It is definitely one of the best things that has ever happened to me. I I don't know what I would do without these great group of people in my life. I made a video called Visor Gang. I made a video called Visor Gang 2.0 where we literally woke up at 5 in the morning. No, we woke up at 3 in the morning and we drove at 5 in the morning to go to McDonald's <laughs> and grab Szechuan sauce. It was that bad, guys. And, but I love these guys. We would just go grab Szechuan sauce from McDonald's and do the McDonald's food with these or whatever. Those were our favorite videos. Sadly, I don't have it anymore. Me uh, shaving my friend Mikey's hair at friend Preston's. That video's gone too. July 17th was hacked into. Channel got deleted was the worst feeling in the world. Two years put into that channel. Minecraft channel, if you guys were wondering. Um, I, I just stopped uploading to that. <laughs> Tacked into, somebody changed the, it was actually, it's actually a pretty funny story. I actually know who did it now. I won't name names or anything, but I know who did it. And I forgive them because, you know, it just doesn't even matter at this point anymore. Um, YouTube wouldn't give me my channel back. I tried several thousand different times and different ways to try to get my channel back to appeal the termination of it and it just didn't work they wouldn't give it back to me no matter what my roommate Makai was just telling me like dude don't worry you're gonna get through this all right things are gonna get better for you and I was glad that he was there for me through that time I had this insane idea in August I saw an opportunity to gain subscribers back to gain a new channel to get a fresh start and that's what I did. I have a fresh start right now, and this is what I'm gonna be doing. I saw an opportunity, and I took it. The KSI versus Logan Paul fight was coming back. I decided to take back my Minecraft channel, privatize every single video on that channel, and, and do a reaction like I did with McJuggernuggets, but instead to the KSI versus Logan Paul fight, and do it as a live stream. It worked. I gained 7.5 thousand subscribers from it. A thousand people have unsubscribed since then because of my inconsistency with uploading. I just started uploading videos again. Like Visor Gang 1 and 2, that never even happened. And it sucks because those were like amazing videos on my last channel. Took this channel back and honestly guys throughout this whole entire YouTube thing like I've made a lot of friends throughout this platform you know I've done collaborations with, with people on my last channel and it was amazing um, I've gone to other people's channels and I've done collaborations with them I've literally shaved other creators heads and you know have eaten stupid shit with other creators as well and you know it's just I love I love doing this I I don't know why like this is just something this is like my calling. This is something that I look up to. It's like amazing and I love it. I definitely can say right now that I am off to a good start because where the time frame from how I made videos back in 2011 to 2019 have definitely changed. This has been my experience and my life story on YouTube and I hope you guys have enjoyed it if you guys have please click that like button down below and go ahead and subscribe to my channel because you know my goal for this year is to make it a 10,000 subscribers and I plan on sticking with that I love all of you who watch my videos and support me you guys are amazing honestly if you guys want to check out my merch the link is down below that's literally the only way that I'm getting paid right now not even YouTube's paying my ass <laughs> you guys want to know how I'm making money I I do seasonal jobs and I can't wait to see where we go from here guys thank you all for watching this has been Alex and as always I'm out peace